Hi, it's Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are making a C to C triangle. If C2C scares you or you aren't sure how to start, this tutorial is for you and you are not alone. Lots of people get really stuck and confused starting out our C2C, how to grow it and how to begin it. So I walk you through that step by step and share with you all the tips and tricks so that you'll be able to master this technique and be super confident starting C2C whenever you feel like it. You can use any yarn you have. I just use scraps of nice colors that I liked. It's a just regular size four worsted weight acrylic and I used a six millimeter crochet hook with that. And if you wanna learn more or decrease into a rectangle, make stripes or master color changes, check out my Ultimate C2C Masterclass. If you'd like to follow along with a written pattern, all of my patterns are available on my website, secretyarnrate.com. And you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern. All of my patterns are written in plain English, just like I was sitting there right beside you. If you find this tutorial helpful, please subscribe to my channel for more. And here are the timestamps. You can jump right back into where you left off. <laughs> Let's get started. To start your C to C, we're gonna be doing a triangle. So just grab your yarn and whatever hook goes along with that yarn. And we're going to be making a triangle just like this, but we're going to be working on it starting with this one little square at the bottom. So to start, we are going to just make a regular slip knot any which way you normally do, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. And just pop that onto your crochet hook. So we're going to start with a chain six. So chain one, two, and three. Pinch four, five, and six. So we have our chain six. Wrap your yarn, go into where you're pinching the fourth chain from your hook. Just go underneath, so you have two strands on the top of your hook. And make one double crochet. Now, into each of the next two chains right here and right there. We're gonna make one double crochet into each. So wrap your yarn and into the next chain, one double crochet. And we're gonna go into the next chain. So I just look for these bottom loops. It's this little bottom loop right there and then just go in so you have two strands of that chain on the top of your hook. So wrap your yarn and into that last chain, one double crochet. And that finishes row one. So at the end of our row, we're just gonna pop in a stitch marker, just into that chain three space of our last block. So it's our only block, but we're just gonna pop a stitch marker into it. And that finishes row one, which is this one block right here. Now to start row two, we're gonna do the exact same thing. So we're building one of these blocks. That's how we're gonna start every row of our increase or while we are increasing, we are always gonna start with this cute little block right here. So we're gonna chain six again. So one, two, three, pinch that third chain, four, five, and six. Wrap your yarn and into the chain you're pinching, the fourth chain from your hook. Just go in two strands on the top of your hook and make one double crochet. Wrap your yarn and into the next chain. So to look at my chains, I've worked into this chain here. There's my double crochet working into that first chain. Now here is my second chain. And here is my third. I just look at these bottom loops because that's where I'm gonna be putting my hook. So the next stitch is gonna be right here. 
And then the last one is right there. So wrap your yarn and in to the next chain, one double crochet. Wrap your yarn and into the last chain. It is right here, right on top of that stitch. Just right here. So wrap your yarn, one double crochet. So each of our blocks is a chain three and three double crochets. That is our block. So now we have to connect it. And we have to do this after we make the first block every single row. And don't worry if it doesn't make sense right now. It, it will make sense about row six. So give yourself time where I'm not leaving you. Just follow what I'm doing. By row six, you'll get it. So the first block of every row, you're going to flip up our work. So if you're just holding your work, the block you just did, you will have this first block right there, the one with the stitch marker. We're just going to flip it up. So we flip up our work and we are going to slip stitch into that space with the stitch marker. That's how we're going to connect it. So into the space with the stitch marker, slip stitch to join your block and chain three to start your block. One, two, and three. You can pop that stitch marker out and into the space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. So that's our last block of row two, two blocks for row two. So pop in a stitch marker and we're just putting that stitch marker into that chain space right before our double crochets. Next is row three, these blocks right here. So to start your row, we're gonna do the same thing. We have to build one of those blocks. So we're gonna chain six. One, two, three, pinch, four, five, and six. So into that chain where we're pinching or the fourth chain from your hook, we're gonna make our first double crochet. So wrap your yarn and go into that chain, two strands on the top of your hook and make one double crochet. And into each of the next two chains, we need to make a double crochet into each. So a double crochet right there and a double crochet into this last chain right down there. So wrap your yarn and one double crochet into the next chain. And one double crochet into the last chain right on top of that block. So that's what it looks like. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna flip up our work. If you just let it hang underneath your hook and just lay it down, it'll stay the right way around. <laughs> so we have what's on our hook, our loose block, and we have our little staircase that started. We wanna take our staircase and flip it up. And then we wanna rotate our loose block over and we're gonna slip stitch where that stitch marker is, okay? So into where the stitch marker is, slip stitch to join your block. You can pop that stitch marker out. And chain three to start your block. One, two, and three. And into the space, three double crochets right into that chain space. One. two, and three. Into this next chain space, just pop your hook in, slip stitch to join your blocks, and chain three to get your height. One, two, three. Into that chain space, three double crochets. Just into the space, And there are our three blocks for row three. So let's pop a stitch marker into that last chain space on our last block, right there. 
And now we have finished row three, these blocks right there. For row four, we're going to work across and make four blocks. So we're always starting the same way with our chain six. We have to build a new block. So chain six. One, two, three, pinch. One, two, three. Wrap your yarn and go into that chain where we're pinching. Two strands on the top of your hook. And make one double crochet. And then one double crochet into each of these two chains. So wrap your yarn and one double crochet into the next. Wrap your yarn and one double crochet into the last one, right down there. So if you just lay down your work, that is what it looks like. We're going to take our finished work or the blocks we've already connected, our little staircase, and flip it up. Then we're going to slip stitch into that space where our stitch marker is. Just pop your hook in and slip stitch to join that new block. Take your stitch marker out. Chain three, one, two, three. That gives us our height. And now three double crochets into the space to build our block. One, two, and three. We're going to slip stitch into that space on the top of our block. So we have like our little staircase going on and we're building our blocks and connecting them into these chain spaces at the top of our blocks. So each block, we have to connect it to our staircase. So just slip stitch into that next space. And chain three to get your height. One, two, and three. And into that same chain space, we're going to build our block. So three double crochets to build our block. One, two, and three. Now we're going to slip stitch into that space to join, just to connect that block to our staircase. So pop your hook in and slip stitch to join. Chain three to get your height. One, two, and three. And into that space, three double crochets. Just to finish off our row. Two and there is three. So that is the last block of row four. So grab your stitch marker and pop it into that chain space. Just like that. And that finishes row four. For row five, we're going to do five blocks along our staircase. And this is when it's going to start making a little bit of sense to you. So to start our block, chain six, one, two, three, pinch, four, five, and six. Wrap your yarn and into that fourth chain from your hook, right where we're pinching. Two strands of that chain on the top of your hook. One double crochet. And one double crochet into each of those chains going down. So we have a total of three double crochets. There's number two. And our last one goes right there, right on top of that last block with one double crochet. It looks like this. When you lay your work down, you have your block right by your hook. So you can just hold that block and flip up your work. And now we're going to join slip stitch right into that chain space 
where our stitch marker is. So you can pop the stitch marker out and just slip stitch to join that block to your staircase. And now we are ready to do our stairs going all the way up. So chain three to get your height. One, two, three, into the space, three double crochets. So blocks are always chain three and three double crochets. If I'm going too fast, just slow me down or speed me up. Just use that gear right there and adjust me. So now we're going to connect that block to the next step or the next stair right here, like a little staircase. So slip stitch to join and chain three to get your height for your new block. Two and three. Into the space, three double crochets. One. Two. And three. And now we have to connect that block. So find the top of that next staircase, that next step. Pop your hook in and make a slip stitch into that space. Chain three to get your height. And three double crochets into that same space. One. Two. And three. Now we have to connect that block, so find the space at, on the top of that last block. Pop your hook in and slip stitch. That joins up our block, and now we need to get our height. So chain three. At the end of your row, just remember you do have to build a block into this last space right here. We can't just join and turn, or we'll have a, just a weird edge. So keep track to make sure that your edge is staying straight and that you have the same number of blocks as how many rows you're on. So we're on row five, we need five blocks. We have one, two, three, four. We have to put in that last block for our five. So that finishes row five with five blocked. One, two, three, four, and five. So pop that stitch marker into that last chain space we made. For row six, we're doing six stairs. So our staircase is just growing, growing, growing. To start row six, chain six. One, two, three, pinch it, four, five, and six. Wrap your yarn and into the fourth chain from your hook, right where we're pinching. One double crochet. And one double crochet into each of those two chains, or each of the next two chains. So into the next chain, one double crochet. And into the last chain, one double crochet. So now you can just lay your work down, hold down that block that you just made, flip up your staircase. So now we're just going to rotate that block and slip stitch right into where that stitch marker is. So slip stitch to join. And chain three to get your height. One, two, and three. You can pop that stitch marker out. And now we're going to build our blocks all the way up our staircase. So each of these spaces is going to get a new step, a new block, all the way along. And we're going to have a total of six blocks. So into this very first space, right where we joined, three double crochets. And then we have to connect it to our staircase. So slip stitch into the space of that next block. 
chain three to get your height. And then three double crochets into that space to build your block. Slip stitch into the top of the next stair to join your block. Chain three to get your height. One, two, and three. And into that space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. We're going to slip stitch to connect that block. So just into the space of that next stair. Chain three to get your height. One, two, and three. And into that space, three double crochets. At the end, you can just flip that last stair down and just pinch it so it doesn't get in your way. You don't snag it with your hook. I can flip that last one back up and we're going to build our last block into our last stair or last bit of the staircase. So connect it with a slip stitch. Get your height with a chain three. And remember, we always have to build a block into this last space right here. We always have to finish with our yarn right on the edge. Three double crochets into that last space. And there is our sixth row completed. So just pop a stitch marker into that space. The last block we made right there at the top. So at the end of your row, also just make sure that that edge is straight, that you have worked into that last block. To start row seven, we're gonna build a block, same as we have been. So chain six, one, two, three, pinch, four, five, and six. Wrap your yarn and into the fourth chain from your hook, one double crochet, and one double crochet into each of the next two chains. Our blocks are always a chain three and three double crochets. So there is our new block for our new row. So you can hold that new block down and flip up your staircase. And then just rotate that block in. We're going to slip stitch right where that stitch marker is. Just pop your hook in and we're going to slip stitch to join to our staircase. Remove your stitch marker. And chain three to get your height. One, two, and three. Three double crochets into that space to build your next stair. Slip stitch to join your block to the staircase. And build your next block. Chain three and three double crochets into the space. Connect it to the next stair with a slip stitch. And build your next block, chain three and three double crochets. So each block is a chain three and three double crochets. And now you can see why people love C to C so much because all the way along your row in these middle blocks, we're just working into spaces. So it's really fast once you get the hang of it. So connect with a slip stitch, chain three to get your height, and three double crochets to build your block.
connecting it with a slip stitch. Remember, you can pause the video and get caught up. I know I'm speeding up a little bit. Chain three to get your height. One, two, three, and three double crochets into that space. One, two, and three. Slip stitch to join it to our last step on our staircase. At the end of your row, just make sure that you go into this last staircase. After you slip stitch, if there's a space, like if your slip stitch is not at the very end of your row, or if your hook is not at the very end of your row, you have to do this last stair, this last step. So chain three, one, two, and three, and three double crochets into the space to build your block. One, two, and three. And now you can see my hook, or your hook also, is going to be at the end, at the very edge of your work. So just make sure your hook, your work, is at the very edge of your row before you build the next block and turn to come back. And you can also count your steps. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we are on seven rows. And you can also count your rows just by counting your blocks. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So the sides match a going across like that. So if you have finished row seven, so pause the video, keep working until one side is the skinniest side or the smallest side of whatever you're making. So when your triangle is the size you want it to be, after your last double crochet into your last step, your last block, we're just gonna do a chain one, cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later, pull your hook up and your yarn through, and snug that down to secure. And there is your C to C triangle. And then next, I'm gonna show you how to decrease it into a square. So I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I'm waiting for you in that video up there and stay hooked.